Hi everyone, Mr. Bond Gavin here. Emojis, those things that we love to hate or hate to love, one of the two. Um, very useful little glyphs and icons that you can easily incorporate into your JavaScript application, which I just thought I'd give you a quick little uh, illustration of. Um, obviously the range of emojis goes far beyond happy smiling faces or crying faces or laughing faces. You have all sorts of uh, different symbols and glyphs that can be used in your programs um, without you having to search for the artwork or create something yourself. Uh, you can just use an existing emoji and basically these emojis, these characters, okay so at the moment the ones I'm showing, oh, there we go, um, <laughs> the address ranges don't or aren't always filled in, that's what these blank boxes are. Uh, but basically they're just a font, they're just a, uh, or a character included in your fonts and so you can include them very easily and just draw it in, uh, effectively as a character uh, in a string. So I thought I'd give you a quick demo on how to uh, use these and the JavaScript is really incredibly simple. So this is the JavaScript of the page that's running at the moment. Uh, and to just include them into your program, so if I just close that. All right, so here's some emoji codes. All right, here's the smiling tears of joy. Here's the code for, for Aya. Here's the code for a bathtub. Here's the code for a cheeseburger. Here's the code for a soccer ball. Uh, the Swiss flag is basically two codes combined together. The Australian flag is two codes combined together. All right, so if I open this up, we'll get all of those symbols. There we go. Tears of joy, fire, bathtub, cheeseburger, soccer ball, Swiss flag, Australian flag. All right. So the tricky part is really knowing what all these codes are uh, because um, the actual JavaScript, right, you can see it's just one simple command string dot from code point and you just put in the codes all right so the flags are an addition of two codes so that's what the, the little plus equals symbol is remember so really that looks like this if I convert it into one line all right the Swiss flag is basically those two commands working together uh, whereas tears of joy, a fire, the bathtub, the cheeseburger, and the soccer ball uh, only need one command each. And the flags ones tend to need two commands, and there's a whole bunch of others that also need two commands. So how do you find them all? Okay, Emojipedia. Just search for what you're looking for. Uh, they, and they've got all the categories here as well. Okay, so for instance, if I go to flags, okay, here's all the country flags. So let's go for Ireland. Okay, the flag for Ireland. If I scroll past, okay, it shows you what you look, what it looks like on the various systems. Uh, but here, code points. These are the codes that you need. So one F one E E, one F one E A. All right. So if I add that to here, let's just uh, copy and paste this line. All right. So what was it? One F one E E. 1F, 1EE, e, and 1F, 1EA. 1F, 1EA, e, and that should give us the Irish flag. All right, so if I go back here and refresh it, there's the Irish flag on the end. Okay, piece of cake. Um, so rather than having to create your own artwork, use emojis where you can. Uh, another website that's also useful for checking is unicode-table.com. Right, because you'll discover here that there's a whole bunch of other symbols um, that aren't in the Emojipedia one. Uh, so for instance, a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, you've got all your astrology symbols. You've got all your chess symbols in here. Okay, so, and the, so there's the code there, 265B. All right, so if I come back here. All right, so this is just one of these single space, single ones. Right, two six five B, all right, and 
that's just uh, the black queen in chess. All right, and if I refresh that, there's my black queen. Okay. Uh, so just um, yeah. So between these two websites, you can find all the symbols that you're looking for. So hopefully that makes things easier. You don't have to draw everything from scratch. You can just use a font character. All right. This has been Mr. Bond Gun. Thanks for watching.